everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Wednesday, January 13th. Uh, another solid day of trading, plus 1257, 1257. Back to back days, over a thousand bucks. Uh, let's go through these, starting with the Mighty 90. We had two trades, one winner, one loser. Netflix was a loser for 167. Tesla, a winner for 390. Uh, no pairs trades on the runner front, did really well, over a thousand dollars just on the runners. Took five trades, four of which were winners. Amazon plus 490, Beyond plus 60, Piton, my big winner, plus 730, Uber 408, and Win, our biggest loser, at 654. Let's take a look at these and I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the Mighty 90 trades. Uh, starting with Netflix, which was a loser. Uh, we actually had two different trades in Netflix. So he, uh, the first one, we had this big push up, had some good volume. We got short right in this area here. Kept pushing up on us, pushing up. We, we added, we scaled in a little bit of size. And when we got this little pullback, we just closed it out, ended up taking a loss on that one. Then we pushed up again, had another spike in volume. We got short here and caught this move down for a winner. So net net minus 167 in Netflix. Uh, Tesla plus 390. So in Tesla, we, uh, we got long, had this big push down here. We got long right there. It was a big volume spike, almost as big as the, the initial volume spike. And so we were a little bit quicker to take profits, but we, we booked half of our profits here. They just kind of chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. When it took this little bounce here, we didn't get the, you know, the, the move that we wanted, but we ended up just closing out, still booked 390 bucks on that trade. Next trades going to the runners, <clears throat> Amazon. So Amazon, we caught a winner for 490. And what we did here was on this big volume spike and push here, we waited for this pullback, got long right here, kind of chopped around for a little bit and then boom, we only got in Amazon's, their options are so expensive. We only ended up doing one contract on that, but got out for 490 once it peaked up above the uh, kind of the, the highs of the day. Uh, beyond plus 60, so this one was uh, a bigger winner at one point, and then it, we gave some back. Uh, didn't really do anything wrong, but the market uh, took some back, I should say. So in Beyond, um, when we got this big spike here, we waited for a little pullback, got in about right here, and caught a nice move up, started to look like, and, and we, we got out of, uh, I think, half of our trade at this point. And then we were looking for a little bit continuation higher up to this pivot, never came and this thing just started bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. So we ended up just cutting out the, the rest of it down here. Uh, still stayed positive, you know, plus 60 bucks, but um, obviously it ended up getting up there, but uh, too little too late on that. So we, but we still took a positive P&L. Uh, Piton plus 730. So this is a nice one where we had this uh, push up, big, big volume spike here, big volume spike here. We caught, uh, we got in on this little pullback long and just rode this thing up to the pivot. And so really nice trade there. Uh, Uber plus 408. So this is our last trade of the day uh, in Uber. And um, we just got out of this one at about 12.30 p.m. Central. So we we were holding on. Uh, let me scrunch this in for you. Um, let me adjust this here. Okay, so Uber uh, pushed up, started consolidating in positive territory. We ended up getting long for, for an upside run about right here. It pushed up, uh, we, we, we shed half of our contracts here. We were super small. It came back down, we got back in, went up, we took some off, came down, we got back in again and rode this thing back up to the pivot. So uh, a few different kind of scale in and scale outs, just playing, that, playing the price action uh, and ended up booking 408. And then lastly, win win casinos so we had a um we had a downside runner in win let me scrunch this in so had this initial flush lower big spike in volume here on when it when it bounced up we started scaling in here and here to get short uh came down we got out of some and then we were looking for a continuation lower it didn't happen it, it pushed up and so we ended up just bailing on the trade somewhere around in i don't know if it was here or here but ended up closing out the trade Take a loss, 654. I think this thing would have continued lower, except for Keith in our in our group. He was uh, he was being mean to win, and so 
it, it didn't like how it, uh, Keith was talking to it. And so it, it ripped our face off. So lesson learned, you got to be nice to the stocks you're in and they will participate because as soon as we got out, this thing flushed lower. That's what happens. All right, guys, uh, plus 1257 for the day. Hope everybody had a good day. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the live stream tomorrow. See ya.